That's Williams in motion. Low snap. Melrose stopped. Michigan makes a stand and comes up with a milestone playoff victory. That's really cool. What, what, what a story. 27-20 Michigan in overtime. Much more to talk about this before we kick it to New Orleans. The second semifinal to come up in 10 minutes. The Ram Truck postgame show is coming hip right now. Michigan down seven late scores the final 14 points to win it. And then the defense has to step up. And, and what's interesting is they motion here. Cole Junior Colson will eventually go out, but add up the Michigan defenders. You got six blockers and you've got seven inside. Derek Moore does a good job right here of winning his battle, gets inside of Dupree. That really blows the play up, but look at the maze in blue. They're not getting pushed off the ball. Game on the line, season on the line, and the one final time a battle in the trenches, and it's Michigan that wins. Eight on the edge, Moore, Kenneth Grant on the inside. It's the Michigan defensive line, which has been, been a strength of theirs all year long, makes the play here to secure this win in overtime. One more time, a low snap that yeah. Elroy had to deal with on that yeah. final play. Yeah, it may have affected his momentum going forward, but I don't think he's getting into the end zone. So Saban denied a chance. It's going to be three consecutive seasons without a championship. That's the first time in the Saban tenure. Michigan overcomes a whole lot. A couple of up punts, miss field goal, miss PAT. Went kind of stagnant on offense for 25 minutes, but had the resolve to make the plays late. Yeah, and, and Milrow and, and, and Bama deserve a lot of credit for the way they played, the way they battled back in the second half. But the story of the night is, is J.J. McCarthy and Jim Harbaugh in Michigan. Michigan's defense has the final word in this overtime semifinal playoff win. There were people who were still wondering about Michigan's defense coming into this because, yeah, they were great statistically but they face a lot of weak offenses in the Big Ten even some folks on the Alabama side were wondering how legit is this defense I tell you, five sacks in the first half had one in the second half and the stop to win the game and, and I think the, the preparation with the time off to come up with some wrinkles and to confuse Alabama especially in the first half defensively give Jesse Minner a lot of credit but I think Jim Harbaugh Sharon Moore they put together a nice plan and a nice package and then Alabama comes back and it, it looks like they've got this game right where they want it and Michigan how fitting but just a team that wouldn't be denied ends up answering the bell and now as Blake Corum said Okay, well, I'll see you in Houston. I, I, I like that attitude. The confetti's coming down, and he's already worried about who they're going to play in that next one. Give something. Give something.